Hi guys, my name is Roger. Welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to use the V-Synth to create rhythm patterns. Yes, rhythm patterns. Because the V-Synth is a performance synthesizer, it's not a workstation, it does not have a sequencer, but it has the possibility to create rhythm patterns. I will show you how it works, because we are going to use the arpeggiator. And instead of using samples from the VSynth, I'm going to use the GD800. I'm going to trigger sounds of this kit with the VSynth, and then I will create a pattern, and then I will sample it. Because the JD, JD800 does not have a sequencer or an arpeggiator, uh, and, and my one doesn't have a keybed at all because the keybed of the JD800 is terrible. It has problems. So this one does not have any keyboard. But okay, back to the VSynth. The VSynth is an amazing synthesizer and I'm going to show you how you can create rhythm tracks, rhythm patterns with this synthesizer. So, ready for it? Here we go. Okay, so I'm going to use the GD800 to um, record a rhythm with the VSynth. As you know, the VSynth is not a, a workstation, it's a performance synthesizer. Uh, but you can create rhythm patterns, and I will show you how to do it. You can do it with internal sounds, but in this case I'm going to use external sounds. Like I said before, the GD800, because that one doesn't have a sequencer at all. So I'm going to trigger the drum sounds of the GD800 with the V-Synth. And I'm going to do that with the arpeggiator. But first, I will select oscillator 1, because I have connected the GD800 to my V-Synth with the input. So I need external in. Now it should be like this, that I turn it on. Oscillator 1 is on. When I... Play my keys, you will hear the sounds of my GD800. Okay. What you also notice is that when I hit the key, you hear the sound, and when I take off my finger, when I lose the key, then the sound is gone. We can adjust that with the TVA, with the amplifier, with the release. Adjusted. Okay, cool. Now we are going to the arpeggiator. Because we see arpeggio uh, over here and we see motif. In this case, I'm going to choose motif rhythm. Rhythm, yes. We do a pattern edit and I'm going to clear this one. So I do clear. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, we're clear. We're, we're ready now to play to record rhythm. The funny thing is that we can put the sounds or the notes in but you won't hear them uh, repeating because in that case we should turn on the arpeggio and we're not going to do that yet so you know what first some step recording with a hi-hat, hi-hat is over here oh I don't want to have that I do clear, all clear, do it again Okay, stop. That was some step recording. Now we do some real-time recording. Yeah, typical Janet Jackson <laughs> drum. With that one. I do real recording, then we hear a metronome. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And that's funny, we don't hear it because the arpeggio is not on. Cowbell, yes. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Snap. Do it. Okay. So 
So, recorded. We see all kind of notes recorded, but we don't hear anything. Okay. I go to exit. Now I do arpeggio on. And let's check this out. If I play now a note, we should hear the rhythm of the GD800 recorded with the V-Synth. This is funny. I can also change the shuffle. This is nice. Okay. Because we're in a patch, we can also add, for example, uh, some multi effects. I go to effect, um, effects, multi effects. In this case, I choose. I will turn it on. Still ready, Lay? Okay, this is funny. We can adjust some chorus also if you want to. Chorus, I said, yeah. I do the routing, some chorus up here. And of course, we can sample this. If we go to sampling, I press sampling over here. Then we choose or sampling template line or sampling template resample. The difference is, is that sampling line means that the sounds from the line in are recorded or sampled directly into the vsynt and with the resample means you will sample the patch with the effects added. So I do resample and I'm going to choose note as a trigger. That means that when I press the note, when I hit the note, it starts recording. Let's give it a try. Start, trigger mode, note, waiting trigger, here we go. And I do stop, okay. We're going to edit this sample. And I know that this BPM is uh, 110 because my MIDI sequencer is 110. I do measure over here, measure beat zero. And we have to clean up the sample. I go to loop forward and first we will change the end. I'll do a zoom in on the end. Calculate 110, perfect. So let's give it a try. Loop preview. Perfect loop. Check out down below. Perhaps you won't see it with the camera, but with my eye, I see it. There is a little star running on this line. Which is uh, the, the line of the, the sample and I love to see that. Because it tells me exactly where I am with the sample. Okay, I do truncate. Oh, no, not copy. I do truncate. Execute. So, now go to exit because I'm going to encode it. Um, in this case, I do backing. Not solo, but backing because it's a drum. And drums are always uh, done as backing. So I do execute. It's encoding now. And... Now we're going back to the patch. So it was external in, but I'm going to change it to PCM because I want to have the sample and not the original GD800. So use the sample 44. Okay, I turn off the arpeggiator. So this is the sample.
Okay. That's the problem with me. I can play all the time with it. But just this was just a simple video to show you how to create a drum um, sequence with a V synth. In this case, I triggered external and an external instrument, but you also can use the internal synths, well, uh, internal sounds of the V synth if you have drums uh, placed over here. Also possible. Very nice, very nice, very simple and very nice feature. Guys, thank you for watching and we see each other next time. Bye bye.